Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Take a look at this quilt behind me. Isn't this fun? It's a great quilt, easy project. You're going to be surprised how easy. So to make this quilt, you're going to need two packs of five inch squares and we have used Star's Single Scoops by Andover. And you're also going to need two packs of a background. Now you want to make sure that your background blends with your print strips because you're also going to need a half a yard of that same background for this first inner border out here. For your outer border, it's six and a half inch strips, nice big border, you're going to need a yard and a half. For your backing, you're going to need four and a half yards and you can see we've used this same little star pattern and uh, we did it with vertical seams. So it makes a quilt that is 64 by 72, which is a great size. It's one of those that I call like picnic quilts or wrap up and watch TV quilts. It's just a great little size. Now remember with pre-cuts, anytime you wanna make a bigger quilt, you just increase the amount of pre-cuts that you're using and very quickly that quilt grows. So let me show you how to make this because this is based on two blocks that are very familiar to us and that are very easy. It's a half square triangle and a four patch. So let's tackle that half square triangle first. Now, for uh, there's lots of ways to make half square triangles. On this way, we're gonna be doing it with a background square, a five inch background square, and we're gonna couple that with our um, star square. Now, what I wanna do first is, um, is we're gonna take this five inch square and we're gonna draw a line diagonally on this like this, corner to corner. So take your little ruler, lay it on there corner to corner, and you can use anything to draw this line because we're gonna cut on that line. It's inside the seam, it's not gonna show. So here's our little thing. Now, a lot of people ask me about half square triangles and why I use, you know, make them different ways. And the reason is I'm looking for a size. I want this size to match my four patch. So we're using the five inch square and we're gonna take a seam sew a seam a quarter of an inch on both sides of this line. And when we do that and take that seam in, quarter inch, it's gonna be four and a half. Our half square triangles are gonna end up four and a half and that's the size we're looking for. So we're coming over here to the sewing machine and I'm just gonna make sure these two squares are just lined up right on top of each other, just like that. And then I'm gonna sew a quarter of an inch on both sides of this line. All right, so here we go. One side and then I'm gonna come down the other. All righty. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to cut this right in half on the line. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this. Now, because we wanna make sure that these are, um, that these are exactly four and a half, because that will really help us with lining up our different, our different squares, we're gonna grab our uh, perfectly slotted trimmer here, our clearly perfect slotted trimmer, and we're gonna lay this four and a half, we're gonna cut them four and a half. So you can see I have a little bit of extra here, and I'm gonna kinda center that up you lay your stitch line on their stitch line and we're gonna square this block just by doing this and by doing this and we can come out those little um, slots and cut the dog ears off and that'll just make it line up perfectly. All right, so now let's do the other one and you'll wanna do this to all your blocks because it will make it, it will just make them line up perfectly. So again, you, at, you put your seam line on their seam line, we're gonna cut up this side and down this side and then we're going to come in here and I think these are made to cut either way but I like to cut to the outside just because safety first you know safety first all right so let's press these open and we're going to press to the dark side which means I'm going to have my dark fabric on top and I'm going to set that seam roll that back and, uh, and this should then be exactly four inches. So that's how we're making our half square triangles for this block. Now what we wanna do is make some four patches. So you're going to take your, uh, another square and we're gonna line them up on top of each other like this. 
Now to make a four patch out of a five inch square, what I like to do is sew just down the sides and then cut it in half and we'll do that over here. So I'm gonna line this up on my quarter inch line and I'm going to sew just down the sides and then just flip that around and sew like this. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these right in half. So I have this, my little ruler, this is two and a half inches wide, so that's half of five. So I can just lay that on the edge and trim that just like this. And then I'm gonna press these open like this. So then we're gonna press these open. And then because I like to make my four patches so they're mixed, so see this is made up of two colors. Then I'm gonna find another piece that I've already sewn. So basically when I do this, I do it to a whole bunch of them and then I start putting my squares together. So then you're gonna line it up like this and you're gonna make sure that these seams are pushed right nice and tight together, just really nested. And we are just gonna again sew straight down the sides. And quarter of an inch. And then on this side as well. Let me make sure now I got my anchoring stitches, making sure my middle line's up, and it does. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna again just cut it on the sides. So this is, this is again, this is still five inches this way, so we're just using our ruler, laying it on the edge and cutting halfway in, two and a half inches. And then we're gonna open these up Ooh, look how nice that matched. That is right on. I love it when a plan comes together. All right, these came together so nice. Look how great they look in the center. Isn't that awesome? All right, now I like a scrappy block and because I sew with pre-cuts, they're going to be scrappy, but it is really fun to notice and think about what's gonna happen if you use one color. For instance, your chains, if you used one color, your chain is gonna be the same color all the way through but of course with mine it's going to be scrappy so we're looking for some different colors so i'm going to find another four patch that is a little bit has different colors in it and i'm going to find two of my half square triangles that are also different so we're going to scrap the whole thing up so what i like to do is i put my two half square triangles white into the middle and then i put these together so that they match color to the white and color to the white. Now, in reality, when you fold these over and go to sew them together, you can chain piece these. If you flip this over, we're chain piecing the same side. It's all going the same directions. So once you get started, you're gonna chain piece these. Now it's easy to keep track of where you are because one whole pack of, um, of your stars, you know, you have two charm packs, one whole pack is going to be half square triangles and one whole pack is going to be four patches. So that's just a great way to keep that in your head. And we're gonna go ahead and take these to the sewing machine and chain piece them and sew right down the side, quarter of an inch in. There's no seam to match up on this. All right, so let's see what we've got now. I'm gonna go ahead and clip this thread right here and press these open. And one more. All right, so now we're gonna put these together and you wanna remember that you want opposites here. Let me get this thread, there we go. You want opposites here. So your whites are coming together and your blocks are coming together just like this. And so we're gonna go ahead and sew these together like a four patch now. And this is our last seam for our block. And the only thing that matters on this seam is this center seam right here. So this little first seam that we're coming to, it doesn't match to anything. So you can just sew right on by, but this second seam needs to line up. And so I like to make sure that's matching and then go ahead and just sew right on down. Alrighty, now we're gonna press this and that came out very nicely. 
So this is the block we get and now we get to put them together. So we're going to put this together in rows because there's six across by seven down. And what I like to do is I like to match mine up. So my squares come together, my triangles come together. And then the next one, your triangles come together and your squares come together, just like that. So let's look at the quilt so this makes a little more sense. All right, so this one right here, this is our little block. See our two little half square triangles to the middle and here's our little block. So this one, our squares are coming together and our triangles are coming together up here. The next block, the squares come together up here and the triangles come together right here. So basically, you're just rotating your block to put it across. So six across, seven rows, and it just makes this darling quilt. Then you're gonna add your inner border and you're going to add your outer border and you're gonna have a, just a darling little quilt that finishes up. This is a really fun pattern and it's based on super easy blocks that we're familiar with, the four patch and the half square triangle. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the diamond chain quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.